It's the beginning of March, and this is the time when we start doing all our cutbacks. But the interesting thing about uh, the spring in March is there are a few things starting to come into bloom. And I'd like to give you a quick little tour on uh, the first week of March, what's in bloom here at the zoo. This is the Lenten Rose. You see it's coming into bloom now. This is the old foliage left over from last year, and this is the new growth coming out. You can see the pretty flowers that are starting to bloom. This is a witch hazel. This is Hamamelis primavera, which is a beautiful hybrid yellow witch hazel. It's one of the first shrubs that blooms in the spring. This is an unusual tree for Cincinnati called Parodia persica, the Persian ironwood, or Persian parodia. This is another early bloom uh, plant. It's a member of the Hamamelidaceae family, which is the witch hazels that we just looked at. This one has red flower, and it has beautiful bark when it gets older, and it's a really tough, hardy tree uh, for especially uh, semi-shaded areas and, and areas around the landscape. This is one of our older Persian parodias that starts showing off that exfoliating bark. And you can see why they call it ironwood. Almost looks like mussels in the bark. This is another type of hellebore. This is called Helleborus fetidus, the green hellebore. While this one, the flowers are green, it is really nice dark green foliage. It's a biennial. It'll uh, produce foliage the first year. Second year, it'll come into bloom. And a lot of times, the main plant will die out, but then the seeds will pop up throughout your uh, areas in your garden. So this is one of the first bulbs that bloom in the spring. This is called snowdrops or galanthus. This is a really pretty flower in the early part of the spring, blooms for several weeks. And uh, again, even when it's, there's snow on the ground, these will be in bloom. And uh, the foliage is not uh, very wide or tall, so it fits really well underneath shrubs or between perennials. There are two types of dogwoods that bloom in the spring. This is the Cornus officinalis, and then there's another one called Cornus moss, the Cornelian cherry dogwood. Both these, very small blooms, kind of a hazy yellow, but they are one of the first plants that bloom in the spring. So this is our native Hamamelis vernalis, the vernal witch hazel. This plant will get eight to 15 foot tall, so it's a large shrub. It's good for full sun to part shade and it is the first woody plant that blooms in the spring. It's been blooming for about, oh, I'd say three weeks already, and when the day gets warm, some of them are very, very fragrant, but when the days get chillier, uh, you don't get as much fragrance. But as you walk through the zoo, be sure and notice all the tiny different plants that are in bloom. So here we go. It's about ready for spring. Our tulips are just starting to peek out of the ground. Come mid-April, they'll be in full bloom. But come back and uh, enjoy the blooms all throughout the spring, starting now here at the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden.